I'm going to show you some wonderful items relating to Nanette de Valois' career during the First World War. Uh, when she was a young girl, uh, between 14 and 18, 1914 and 18, she performed in, in pantomime, um, often at the Lyceum Theatre, big theatre in, in London, and here she is with the first male partner she ever danced with, uh, Robert Roberty. Uh, before, before she was promoted to dancing with men, she'd had to dance with uh, women in travesty. Um, it's very, very touching, and she was very aware of the fact that in the audience there were many men on leave who might never come back again. She had many fans. She was so beautiful with her long auburn hair and very young. Um, and she kept um, the cards that they left for her at the stage door. Um, with congratulations from a great admirer of yours since 1914. And another one to Miss Ninette de Valois from a couple of admiring Australians on leave uh, whose leave has been brightened many times by her magnificent dancing. And um, here's a very lovely one. Miss Ninette de Valois with admiration from One in a Stool. Um, there are several of these. I'm just selecting um, some of the more poignant ones. Uh, to Ninette de Valois from a man going back to the trenches with the dream of her glorious dancing and youth furling always before him. I think it's just the most extraordinary um, legacy. And she didn't keep things, so it was very unusual that she actually kept these. Now, one of the reasons that it might have meant so much to her is when Nanette de Valois died in 2001, at the great age of 102, beside her bed was this framed photograph of her father. Now, her father had served in the Boer War, so that by the time the First World War came around, he was not obliged to serve, but he volunteered and he was in fact killed in France at Messine Ridge um, it, towards the end of the war. Um, and it was very touching when we took the image out of its frame to put it in a special conservation slip, we found tucked behind it this little Polaroid snapshot of his grave in France. So it brings Ninette de Valois very close to us. Um, and these are very wonderful ob objects which were given, uh, given to us um, by her family, the Stannis family.